The Atlantic hurricane season is officially underway. Dominion Energy is encouraging Virginians to make sure they're prepared for any potential severe weather. Hurricane season runs through November 30th. Dominion says it's important to know how to report any power outages from severe weather and track repairs. You can do that on the Dominion Energy mobile app or Dominion's website. Also, stay away from downed power lines. Remember to charge your devices before any storm hits. And if you have a generator, make sure it's working properly and have enough food, water and emergency supplies on hand. All right, Zach, all that is great information, of course, and now is the time to be getting ready. It is. It's funny. I never got a generator. I've owned a few homes before moving to Richmond, but I've uh, been here for 15 years. Never had to have a generator until I got here. And it wasn't just for hurricanes, which was the reason that we got it for the first one, but also the nor'easters as well. So a decade in Oklahoma, never had to have a generator. Come to Virginia, have to have one. All right, we're not necessarily a coastal city here, but we can be affected by these things directly with wind, as we've seen from storms like Isabel and by flooding with Gaston and especially if you go back in time, Agnes and also Camille. I'm in front of the Richmond's flood wall. Let's check out the drone video here. And this is live looking at where we are standing here on the far southeastern part of this flood wall. It stretches more than 17,000 feet. It's comprised of a ton, well, a lot more than a ton, 22,000 yards of concrete and over a thousand tons of reinforced steel. And there's 19 different gates that open and close. They stay open almost all the time, but they can close if they need to, to keep all the water in the James River and not flood Manchester or Shaco Bottom. Okay, so let's check out what we've got outside, uh, or let's check out first off the hurricane forecast for the upcoming season. And uh, it's going to be an average year, at least it's expected to be an average year. And you can see the average numbers here. And then uh, the column, the first column, farthest away from me is the forecast. So we're looking at 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine hurricanes, one to four major hurricanes. And the list of names has already been released. It's a preset list. There's six different lists that rotate every six years. And so the first name of the list will be Arlene. And you go on down the list. And if we happen to get through the entire list, there'll be an alternate list to go to. And in terms of when these things are going to occur, it's not very common to have them in June. You see uh, less than 10% of them occur in June and July. But then we see a big uptick tick in August and in September. 34% of all named storms occur in the month of September. And so it's a long season. It's a six month season running from June 1st to November 30th. We do have one disturbance out there right now. It's in the northern Gulf of Mexico. And this thing uh, has a chance to develop into a named storm. If it does so, it will be called Arlene.